Hey guys, peace. How's everyone doing? Beautiful Wednesday today. A bit rainy though, but hey, rain's part of nature, right? <laughs> I was never really afraid of rain. I don't know, even growing up as a kid, I'd always go outside when it rains and <laughs> run in the rain or walk in the rain. I remember even as a kid playing in the mud in the rain and surprisingly, I do not know how, through God's grace, I never got sick, like ever, to be honest. So here I am, uh, 28, still walking in the rain, you know? Uh, I just wanted to share a cool story when I was seeing all these birds today morning. Another story when I was in Sri Lanka. <laughs> uh, my buddy, my buddy, more like my uncle or whatever, my uncle Muruga there and stuff, we were going on a motorcycle ride, you know? <laughs> They love motorcycles there, it's awesome. Everyone has one. I remember riding one through the jungles and stuff too. And um, I saw a bunch of different, different birds, you know, like a crazy amount of birds, like different species and stuff. And I was like, wow, so all these birds live in Sri Lanka, eh? that's so cool. And he was like, nah, man, they don't all live here. Some of these are Valinadu uh, Kurvi, which in Tamil means foreign birds. And that confused me because I was like, wait, what? What does he mean? And then I started to realize that half of the birds that were coming there were migrating from different parts. I went in March 2017, right? It's kind of uh, not the rainy season, but it was still somewhat rain there. Uh, but it was surprising to realize that uh, he was telling me that half of the birds that we were seeing there came from like Australia, uh, India and some even as north as like part of Pakistan and stuff and uh, I don't know it was just a beautiful thing to realize how all these birds were just migrating to this little part you know Sri Lanka is pretty small when you look at the map it's not small when you're there though I'll be honest you know you in the map you look at it it's so small when I was there it's like eight hours from Colombo to Jaffna that's it's pretty that's a long time but it was surprising for me to realize the amount of birds that were just coming from different parts. Like Australia is huge, you know, just for Sri Lanka. And it also made me realize that the land really must uh, be fertile and stuff. And the soil must really be providing something or the water really must be providing a lot of fish or something for all these birds to migrate there. Like I know in Canada, at least, uh, we have... A a few birds in the in the summertime that migrate from the south, I guess, because they're like, woohoo, it's becoming warmer in the north, let's go feed, you know? But it was still a beautiful thing to realize that all these birds from other parts of the world were just coming on this little, little island, you know what I mean? Like something is on that island though, that's for sure. I knew something was on that island, but I guess the birds knew as well. <laughs> all right guys, hope you guys have a great day, peace.